Hey guys, what's up? Bradley Overrated, giving you another Overrated review. It's kind of an older game, but I want to discuss it all the same. It's Overcooked. I can't wait to talk about this game because if you're someone who's a big fan of losing friendships in games like Mario Party or Mario Kart, then Overcooked is just the game for you. So Overcooked is, in fact, about the apocalypse. You see, the giant spaghetti monster has invaded the Earth, and now you and as many friends as you can possibly find must team up together to go back in time, learn some awesome cooking skills, and use said cooking skills to defeat giant spaghetti monster. It's silly, it's outrageous, but it's just a ton of fun, and I love it. I love it to pieces. So the objective of Overcooked is a pretty straightforward one. You and hopefully a bunch of your friends are going to team up to make simplistic recipes in bizarre kitchens and deliver them to your customers. If you deliver the food on time, you get a bonus tip, and if you don't, they hate you and they beat you up. I'm just kidding, but you get the point, you lose points, because at the end of the level, you get a certain number of points and you get a certain number of stars, and the stars are important because they unlock bonus characters that you can use, including Cripple Coon, who is one of the best characters you'll ever see in any game ever. And I love the gameplay. I love it so much. It seems simple at heart, and it is in concept, but when you're trying to team up with a bunch of people and work together to deliver these orders, that is when the fun starts, the chaos starts, and all of the fights in real life and otherwise ensue. When your friends burn your freaking hamburger for the third time because they weren't paying attention to the frying pan, you get a little angry. Get just a little bit angry. You know what I'm saying, buddy? You know who you are. You know who I'm talking about. What the? It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. See, I'm chill, guys. This is the most um, professional review you'll ever get. But it's fun. It's really addicting. I love the gameplay. I love the fact that the stars and wanting to get that three stars essentially makes you just want to unlock all of the characters. It's nice the version I got, the physical version of Overcooked on the Nintendo Switch came with all the DLC, which is nice because this game does feel like it's really short for that $20 price tag. And the biggest complaint I could honestly say about this game is just the fact that I wish there was more content. I also wish there were more interesting levels in some cases. You get generic ice and generic fire levels. You do get some other cool ones that I don't want to spoil too much for you, but I wish there were boss fights. I don't know if they could do boss fights in the same sense, but at the end, you know, you gotta feed the giant spaghetti monster, obviously, so that's kind of a boss fight in a way, and I wish there was more of that in this game. And just as an FYI, if you really want to test the relationship of your significant other, play this game with them and see if you don't kill each other at the end, and if you don't, well, congratulations, you probably have a, a, a keeper. There you go, you get marriage counseling or couples counseling from a random guy on YouTube. You're welcome. And that's really all I can say about Overcooked. It's a silly, fun party game that you definitely want to play with other people. I tried playing this game by myself, and while it's not bad, it's just not the same. So make sure you grab two to four people and just go have a good time. It runs really well on the Nintendo Switch. So, with all that in mind, guys, I'm going to give Overcooked now a B. A very solid B. There were things it could have been better with in the game, but overall, I loved it. I thought it was a ton of fun. Couldn't be happier, and I can't recommend it enough. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout, and I'll see you next time.